Well, good afternoon. <laughs> right. Oh, while well, we're getting on a little bit, I'll show you in a little while. Anyway, my mate Kingdy's had the best idea of anyone for quite a long while. Yes, I'll show you. He said he would like to see me steam engine running again. Well, that's a pretty simple little job for me today after. What I've been doing, isn't it? Just lately, swinging engines and making me dice. Right, so what I'll do, I'll get to uh, set up quite quickly. The only thing is, I can't find my blow lamp. I found a little one and just occasionally it wants a bit extra heat. Anyway, as I say, we'll get set up and uh, see if we can get it going round. Well, I filled it up with very hot water. The stove's going. We've got it connected up. And it has to get warmed up and water comes out. It's a bit of a messy job steam engine top, but that doesn't matter. I have oiled it for a start, by the way. Do you know what? I didn't realise. <laughs> Thinking back, I think. Now, Andy might have been. We might have given it a run for Andy. You know, my mate Andy, who's you've seen with the tractors, videos and all sorts. Um, so, it is possible that... A was the last one to give it a run with, I'm not sure. But, the last time I ran it on video was when I was doing my briggs, so it's over a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're not running it very often, are we? Right. I know we've got to get a lot of water splashing about and everything else. You always do. A lot of condensation, a lot of water, all sorts. And it now leaks quite a lot, as you can see. Anyway, it's nearly there, look. and it's away. I'm staying out of the way of the boiling water so it won't get me. Put a rag on there to catch some of it. So it definitely needs a run anyway. I put a new uh, gas bottle in the stove and it seems to be going a little, little better than the other one. So there we are. It'll go better in a minute. But it definitely needs a run. I have oiled it as best I can because the problem with it is um, the problem with it is that uh, to make this I had to weld the piston inside inside the cylinder I had to weld that on I couldn't get it to stop on so the only way to oil it you have to oil some through there and let it dribble in that pipe you know or hold it up and try and slide some in there as you can see it's a bit oily yeah, I've oiled it pretty well so Anyway, it's near. It runs, doesn't it? Still. Definitely need to run anyway. If you remember, to up the pressure on this is very easy. If you want a little bit more pressure, not much more, because it can blow this pipe off. I'll make it safe, you see. If I stop that just like that and build a little bit of pressure up, we don't want too much. 
This one to be running nice and steady, doesn't it? But it definitely needs a run. Now while you're just watching that, I will just... The reason is that it's Sunday <laughs> and I've been rowing about outside again and I've finished my dice. Uh, to that now, my other mate Clive, he said, and he suggested, well I was thinking of doing holes and, put, and filling them with epoxy, right, and then sand them flat. And he said, well would you see it, it wants to be contrasting, well yeah, it does, in a way. But, because of how I've done this, it doesn't actually have to be dots at all, does it? And it's thick enough to do it, so I'm going to see if I can get some brass screws, but, or bolts, doesn't matter. If not, this looks to be about the right size, you see. So, I'll use the nut just to show you. And you won't be bored this time. So, you see, say that was the one, like that. You see? But, with a bolt, solid. That might work. And I could always paint that black and add these silver. You know, it just, it means there's 21 holes, well, 21 dots, I should say. Count book. Each opposite to seven. And there's three of those. Or count the numbers up. One to six, and you get 21. What it means is, I'm going to have to tap 21 holes. So, but if I can get a fine threaded one, that's... It's thick enough, I've got to test it first, you know, I've got some bits of plate, haven't I? I can, I'll test it first and make sure it works before I ruin it, because I'm, well, it's going to be quite a long while before I make another one of these, I told you, it's, um, it's actually a lot harder work than I remembered, because you've got lots of grinding and welding, and, you know, I used to be able to do it, but, uh, Anyway, that's not come too bad and it's just about square. You know? As I said, the box section was got a use out banger, remember, and it, it was slightly twisted, but nothing, you know, anyway, it's made a pretty decent job that has. So there you are. And the steam engine's still going, look. And it needed a run by a, a long jaw. It did. Give it a bit more power now, eh? I all stand out the way in case. Because I've had it blow off once. There you are, that's enough. That's plenty of pressure. Remember, if you remember, it's not the camera wobbling, it's the engine on the stalls, which is nice, isn't it? And if you remember, I'm not moving the camera to show you, but I did get the flywheel through, because all, all the others are wonky, aren't they? Not that long, but uh, we'll give it a good run. And um, see how it goes, eh? So, 
Anyway, any more ideas with my dice, you know, will be welcome. Anyway, what, as I said, I, I'm not, uh, I was thinking of marking it out and doing it, but I'm not now. I'm going to go out tomorrow and see if I can, or have a think about it for a day or two, probably. Probably tomorrow. Depends what uh, I'm like and the weather's like now. And we'll see just what happens. And then uh, what there is available as to how I'm going to do it. And if I'm going to mount it or anything, you know, it's not... But uh, that, I've got all the hard work done, that's the main thing, isn't it? Unless I decide to drill and tap 21 holes, you know, we'll have to see. Still runs nicely, doesn't it? run and then let it stop. Yeah, King T mate. Hope you like that. I quite enjoyed it. Right, see you all soon.